Sunday, 18th April 2004, an era came to an end. His Excellency, the late Right Honorable Ratu Sakamisese Kapaiwai Tui Madilai Mara, Tui Nayau, Tui Lau, Sao Nebunuo Lau, passed away. <laughs> In the days that followed, our young nation demonstrated to the world the esteem and affection with which it held this great leader. Once the chiefs and people had been notified of the Tuinayao's passing in the traditional manner, the nation began preparations for a state funeral to farewell the man history will surely regard as the father of our nation. Wednesday, 28th April, the long journey began. The casket carrying the Tuinayau was taken from the private hospital through the streets of Suva to Government House. People of Fiji, along with Pacific neighbors and friends from around the world, descended on the capital city to pay their last respects.
watched over by traditional warriors and women from Lao, the body of the late former president lay in state. came in their thousands to pay their last respects. In the traditional Rengu Rengu, each group paid homage to the late leader and presented traditional gifts. Naka. <laughs> 
Mas não vai se pacificar. Não, não vai não. Não, 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 Ela não está na Council of Regional Organizations of the Pacific. Não, 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 Kamu nangga nai rengu rengu, nai rengu rengu buka turang. Maka, eh dah pun balik tadi ko, eh tini nama tadi sungu sungu. Nih dah kau kata tu main mata kan di sini dah indah. Mata nai mata di sungu sungu. Maka, gua orang ini tidak tadi ko na value tadi kan buka tulewa, na beri tambah na. Terawal, bawa boleh kata, nonton dah bula. Nelayan di benua na Pasifik. Tinggal meeting nak kamu nangga na ringu ringu. Enak bukan rana mana turang kembali. Era sama kembali. Mana turang na tu inel sesuatu di benua lau. Tinggal meeting nak buat benda benda apa? Buat benda benda apa? Mau ibu rana masih di benua lau. Kena ibu semua ni rawa. Mati korau yang dah indai. Kata lengan kita, mana bila kau ni buat turang, yang nama tu buat le, buat turang atau doko. Esa raya tu mai, er nangai ada tali tinggal. Kau ini tak boleh lewu nama tu ilau lah kau. Nampak lewu, nasaga. Ni songko songko itu ni saruan tu buat tu tu buat tu tak kena ibu sa tini tini. Ni saya itu mai nang lewu ni ibu sa. Nanti lagi tiga kena ni turang arong ayawa. Kila itu lengan yang nabi saya buru-buru tanya. Naka. Saya awal empat ambalat tu awal lengan non review taki buru buru nua. Naka. Ambalat tu nama mukos non review taki. Kena nabi kai so. Rabu tu lewa kena. Naka. Kena saya ira nabi review review tali nabi awas pasifika. Naka. Teraya ni nanti kiri buru-buru. Naka. Di mula bina katiko. Rau menaga tiga nono muni binga raga nawa sepasifika. Kuni kina nasa utu. Sawa ya watu mendengar nama tiga kita maliwa. Mama. At midday on Friday 30th April, the state funeral for the former president and prime minister began. The casket carrying the Tuinayao left government house under military escort as it began its long journey to its final resting place at Tumbo on the island of Lakemba. At Suva's Albert Park, the very place where, 34 years earlier, Prato Sakamise Samara accepted the instruments of independence. Dignitaries from around the world and the people of Fiji gathered to celebrate the life of this unique leader.
The archbishop and a myriad of priests from around the nation led the assembled crowd in a full requiem mass. Thank you for coming to this religious service to command the body of Ratu Kamasese Kapaiwai Tui Madilai Mara to earth and his soul to God our Heavenly Father. In truth, this man was a son of God. With these words spoken by a centurion, we have an extraordinary statement from a man who stood facing a helpless victim on a cross and watch him as he died. We know the story. And according to St. Mark, Jesus died in total desolation. There was no relieving future of any kind at all. It would have seemed that Jesus' isolation could go no further. He had been betrayed by the leaders, deserted by his disciples, taunted by his enemies, deride by those who hung with him. While Archbishop Petero Matada's allegorical reference to the betrayal of Christ was a pointed reminder of the late leader's bitter disappointment with the events of May 2000. The Prime Minister, Lysenia Ngarase, spoke eloquently of Ratu Sakami Sesemara's contribution to Fiji. The great chief who led us for so long and with such heroic, untiring dedication has been called to his heavenly home. The life he gave to Fiji has ended. His struggles are over. Now, he is at peace. We, the different communities of the land he nurtured, are as one in our sorrow. We have joined hands across all boundaries to offer him homage and thanks. We unite with those from many nations who have also come to honor him. The tears fall everywhere in our islands. We knew this time would come, but need not want to dwell on it. Now it is with us. The moment for parting is here. And it falls to me to say Fiji's farewell to Ratu Sakamisis Mara, Turanga Natuineau, Turanga Tuilau, Saunibunuakulau. I a commoner from the Tuinao's ancestral realm must come here to utter words so difficult to find. I can only bow my head in humility and accept this role as my duty on behalf of us all. But I will do my best for Ro Andile de Lalamara and the family, for Ratu Sokamese's people, and for Fiji. I can do no more. In Fiji, we think of the Turang Natuinao's pride in his indigenous heritage and culture, his ceaseless efforts to fortify the Fijians against the turbulence of a changing world. We think of the sacrifices he made and the price he paid to further his heartfelt belief in the coming together of our diverse communities in the quest for nationhood. Hear what he said about this and remember it, for it will be our hope and national salvation. Towards the end of his career, he said that despite his own unhappiness about the response to his policies of multiracialism, there was only one way for this nation to go. We had to find a common path towards unity, a unity which transcends race and religion and recognizes that we are all sons and daughters of Fiji. 
that was the center of his belief. That is what he leaves us. That is what we must cherish and live by to honor his memory. Although the Turanga Tuinao has left this earthly abode, he will always be part of this land and his people. We will hold him in our hearts and find our country's destiny in what he taught. His presence will be felt everywhere. We give praise and thanks to Almighty God for a good man and a great leader, a tireless and devoted servant, and a towering paramount chief. Samaimbale Nevesi Keilao, Salala Ovatuangalevu, Nusangolen Naturangamale Natuinao, and the Lola of Turanga, Kinanonda Valilevu Kedanga, Naleve Vurvura, Mekalungata, Nailava of Turanga Kivalevu, Kinakortambu Nikolo, Kimamisati Umai, Naleve Viti, Mevakuria, Naitavi, Nusambuta Kotumai, and a Kokoa Nialo Tambu, Navadengu Chisu Christo, Ken Kospeli, Nitiko Velomani, Vavinakati, Ken the Vavondu of Taki. Nulako and Vagdengu, no one to run balle in the Twinau, the Turanga and Twilau, and the Saunibunu of Turanga Kulau. Sir, my chief, farewell. Following the service at Albert Park, the Tuinao traveled through the streets of Suva to Prince's Wharf, where the ship Tovuto waited to carry him to Lakemba. from all walks of life lined the route to say their own farewell. As the late afternoon sun sunk low, a 21-gun salute resounded across the harbor, and the Tobuto with its naval escort made its way slowly out of Suva Harbor.
Passa meu socoto mola o The next morning at Tumbo, the casket was carried to Vatuwanga, the chiefly residence of the Ngoni Turangana Tuinao. Then, on Monday, 3rd May, after a joint service in the local Methodist church, the Tuinao was carried the short distance to Nasau Tambu, or chiefly burial ground. In Nassau Tambu, the military pallbearers passed the Tuneau to the traditional grave diggers from Delaino Corleu.
another 21 gun salute rung out as mourners led by Ruandi Lady Lalamara and Tongan royalty watched as Ratu Sakamise Semara was finally lowered into a traditionally prepared grave to rest alongside others who have borne the title Tuinayau and Tuilau.